what's up guys Tekshan here back with another amazing video well you guys read the title so let's jump straight to it before that if you end up liking this video smash the like button and subscribe to the channel all right meet the apple mac mini m1 a small tiffin box shaped full computer well i personally like to call it that way given its form factor this sure packs a punch and if you plan to buy an Apple computer, this is the lowest entry into the ecosystem. I recently bought this in the Amazon festive sale for a good deal and I'm happy with the purchase. Okay, let's unbox, set it up and we'll talk more. This is the official retail box. What I have is the 8GB RAM with 256GB storage model. You can get max 16GB RAM and up to 2TB storage configurations. For me, since my usage is casual, 8GB RAM model would be more than enough. Opening it up, first you have the Apple Mac Mini M1 wrapped in plastic. Let's remove it. Then we have a black tape protecting the ports. Let's peel that off as well. Keeping the mini aside, then you have a manual, regulatory paperwork, Apple sticker and finally the power cable for the Mac Mini. That's about it. And bam, here is the Mac Mini M1. M1 is Apple's own custom silicon, meaning processor. And it definitely beats the Intel chips in this range as per some benchmarks. Anyways, the Mac Mini M1 is a full powerful computer in this small form factor that you can connect to any monitor, keyboard and mouse and start using it almost instantly. Looking at the build, it is of course premium. Aluminum build. Simple yet elegant. You know the usual Apple-ish vibes. Front, you have the LED indicator. To the back is where you have the ports. The power on off button, power cable port, a gigabit ethernet port for wired internet, two thunderbolt ports or you can also call it type C for connecting high speed devices, drives etc. Even displays. Then a HDMI port to connect your monitor. Then two USB type A ports with up to 5 gigabit speed for normal USB gadgets or whatever you want to connect. And here a 3.5mm audio port for your headphones or speaker. Below you have the Avent. That's about the physical overview. As said guys, this is a full powerful computer in an ultra portable compact form factor. Oh no! If you want to try out the latest Apple M1 chip with Apple Mac OS and want to start your journey into the Apple ecosystem, then this computer is the right one for you. Sean, what? You thought I didn't notice? Bah. You said compact. Exclusive tech Sean comparison time. Well, if I have to say, the size of the Mac Mini M1 is approximately in the size of a Britannia Good Day Choco Chip Cookies 400 gram pack. Mmm, delicious. Yup, crazy but true. Another exclusive texture and comparison. Okay, let's connect this to a monitor and keyboard and boot it up. And Boomba, here is the Mac Mini all connected. What I'm using here is a 32 inch 2K ASA monitor, which I've already reviewed in one of my Coltec episodes. It is a fantastic monitor. And for the keyboard and mouse, I'm using my old Apple keyboard and mouse. But you can connect any wireless and white keyboard or mouse with this computer. Alright, now let's just follow the on screen instructions and finish the setup. And here we are, all set to use our shiny Apple computer. This runs on macOS Big Sur out of the box, but macOS Monterey, the latest version, was waiting for me to update. So I had to. And it all went smooth. The idea behind this small powerful machine is that Apple wants you to experience the latest chip and their operating system and also the app ecosystem that comes with the expensive iMacs, MacBook laptops, Mac Pro, but in a small package. But yes, still it's not affordable as Windows. But let's not get into that comparison fight. This is for a different set of people. Okay, I don't want to get too technical and talk numbers etc. Because for me, always real world usage matters. So here are a few things you might want to know about this machine as a normal consumer. First, as far as the chip goes, M1 is a powerful 8 core CPU, 8 core GPU and has a 16 core neural engine. What does all these numbers mean? Well, it means it's super powerful and you get a lag free experience and by far the fastest system in this segment. Guess what, you can also run iPhone iPad apps on this machine. Nice. Second, who is this for? Well, if you're someone who wants to get into the Mac ecosystem, then this machine is a good start. Be it for education, school, app development, trading, 
photo editing, office work, multimedia consumption, say even video editing, this machine can handle it all. For a little extreme use, say 4K edits and stuff, I would suggest you to pick up the 16GB RAM model, will help. Next, third, how is the learning curve of the Mac OS? Well, I have used both Windows and Mac computer, and Mac OS is not tough. In fact, it is super easy to understand and use. It is much, much more secure as well. Hard truth, so no fear needed for someone jumping from Windows to Mac OS. It is similar to Windows, but has app software dedicated to the Mac OS. As far as UI goes, I can give you an example. In Windows, it's Control Panel, but in Mac OS, it's System Preference. In Windows, it's Taskbar. In Mac, it's Dock. Haha. <laughs> Moving on fourth, on the system usage, well it is super silent guys. I try to push it as hard as I can and still the fans didn't activate, which is quite surprising. Fifth, on the wireless connectivity, it has Wi-Fi 6. Yep, Wi-Fi 6 with Bluetooth 5 support. Sixth, best part is its form factor. You can bet on it, it does not occupy much space on the table. Next, seventh, you can use any single monitor up to 6K with this. And yes, you can also connect two monitors as well. One via the HDMI and one via the Thunderbolt slot. Wow! Next, eighth, can you upgrade storage? Yes, you can via the Thunderbolt port and USB ports connecting external drives. But not internally though. Moving on, ninth, can you game on this? Well, Macs are usually not used for gaming, but still, you can. And it was a smooth experience with most of the titles from the App Store. And finally 10th, if you have an iPhone and iPad, then accessing and moving data between them is seamless. Ok, here are a few things that I feel are bummers. First, the RAM is not user upgradable, meaning you cannot upgrade RAM in the future. What you buy is what you live with, so choose your RAM model accordingly. Also, the M1 does not support Windows dual boot installation, in case you wanted to know that. Second, the inbuilt speaker is shit. Seriously guys, you will have to connect an external speaker, which anyways most would do that. But not having good inbuilt speakers is a bummer. And third, though you get power pack ports, they are limited. For some very serious users, you might want to get a hub in the future if you want to connect more and more devices. Apart from these things, this is an excellent powerful computer purely for those if you want to get into the Apple ecosystem and want to try macOS or want a desktop computer that does not occupy much space but is powerful enough to take care of most of your everyday tasks and a little more than that. This is definitely a thing to look at. I grabbed this for around 51,000 after all bank discounts in the recent Amazon sale which considering the MRP at 67,000 is a good deal, isn't it? So, that's it for this video about the Mac Mini M1. Hope you guys found it informative. If you did, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in another exciting video. Until then.